In our news bulletin for this evening, Neo Police have given the final warning for motorists to make arrangements for registration of vehicles. Neo's water tank pack project is on track despite minor challenges as teams work on installation. Neo's first lot of asbestos containers are packed and ready to be shipped off island. Team Niue undertake their final fundraising efforts to support their trip to the Commonwealth Games. Niue police are giving final warnings to motorists as they appeal for those with unregistered vehicles to make arrangements for payments as registrations have long expired. The police have stated that vehicles that are unregistered and drivers and if they are to stop drivers on the road, they will not hesitate to lay charges as they have given sufficient time and notice. In addition, they are also appealing to the public to be mindful of speed limits and distances between motor vehicles while on the road. The message is for motorists to take responsibility while on the roads to avoid any unnecessary accidents. Newer's PAC project is continuing to make headway with the drive to improve household water security by increasing water rainwater harvesting and water storage capacity of households. In November of last year, the facility to mould the water tanks was set up and the moulding process of the water tanks began to produce about 400 tanks with a 10,000 litre capacity each. The water tanks have been stored and distributed to villages, but the installation process has been a bit delayed as households have been instructed to have their waterways and gutterings prepared first before teams can work on tank bases and installation. Teams have been contracted to work on building bases for the water tanks to be placed upon and installed. For some houses, due to the height of the tanks, teams have had to dig deeper for the bases to be placed. Throughout the project, there have been many lessons learned and slight delays due to a shortage of aggregate for bases. The weather has also played a part in delays, but overall, the project is on track. Environment Director Sawani Tongatuli says that they are also looking to source additional funds for tanks for government rental homes and accommodation providers on island who were not included in the initial plan. And they are also having discussions with local farmers who would also like to have water storage tanks. The hope is that the project will be completed by the end of this year. The project team encouraged people to direct any queries or concerns that they may have with the PAC project team or the Environment Department. The first 20 containers of asbestos are packed and ready to be shipped off the island. The asbestos removal project has taken more than five years of debating over options for disposal. Project coordinator Fapo Yakesi says that Bearing the asbestos on island would have been an easy option, but an unpopular one. However, the removal to New Zealand has been challenging, but worthwhile now that we are one step closer to getting rid of the toxic materials. This week sees the third phase of the project, where containers are fumigated, relabeled, sealed and stored down at the wharf, ready for the next boat on the 24th of June. We've got sufficient containers here to begin the next process. In fact, when I was here in May, we did begin the process. There was a bit of hold-up in uh, trying to secure the um, personal protection equipment that's now arriving on uh, today's flight. Uh, We expect to um, resume as soon as that's arrived and the process will begin. We've got uh, sufficient containers here to begin the process and there are some more coming on uh, Lilo Voyage 26 and 27. Okay, so that'll... um, Providing they all arrive before uh, end of July, we should be able to get the next um, shipment off before September. Project managers say that the next shipment will be in September and if all goes according to plan, another lot in November. The hope is that the public will be satisfied with this latest development to remove the asbestos from the island and work to collect asbestos still out in the villages will be considered once the stockpile at Hui Hui has all been packed. With just three weeks to go, Niue's team to the Commonwealth Games are making their final fundraising efforts to support them on their way to Glasgow, Scotland. Each code has been busy finding ways to get extra money and a team Niue Batson's Up fundraiser made over $7,000. Niue Athletics ran their can run over the weekend and they collected about 10,000 cans. Team Lawn Bowls are set to hold their island night this Thursday with the theme Going for Gold. 
Newies competing in athletics, lawn bowls, clay target shooting and weightlifting. To Niwe, wish to extend a very big thank you to the people of Niwe for your support and contribution. To Niwe, I said to leave the island on the 18th of July.